This weekend also marks the return of astronomical high tides, which we now call king tides. Spectators traveled to San Francisco's Embarcadero this morning to witness the high water levels. As KPX 5's John Ramos reports, it may also be a chance to get a glimpse at our own future. We often take things for granted, but this morning's king tide was a reminder of how close to the sea we actually are. 150 years ago, those who built San Francisco assumed the ocean would stay where it was. This morning, San Franciscans saw how close it is to moving into the city. I just got hit by some water just now walking through here, so yeah, it definitely is making a, a big change. It's very concerning. Chong Jing Eng traveled over from Oakland to see the high water level. He's concerned about the future of the city he was born and raised in. Especially as the tides come up, I feel like this is going to be a precursor to what the city is going to look like as time goes on over the next 20, 30 years. It's a situation affecting all communities lining the bay, and things seem to be accelerating rapidly. According to NOAA, the sea has risen about eight to nine inches since 1880, with about a third of that coming in just the last 25 years. And even if greenhouse gas goals are met, the level will likely rise at least another 12 inches by 2100. Looking at this, do you feel San Francisco might be in a little bit of trouble? Uh, I'm sure that San Francisco will rise to the challenge and make sure that uh, everything is safe with the uh, infrastructure. They've already begun. This new addition to the Embarcadero fire station is actually built on a giant barge, so it will raise and lower with the water. But with hundreds of billions of dollars at risk, others are not so optimistic. I don't know what they're going to do. You can't just move all these buildings. And I do think this is like... 20 years from now, this will be the normal. I don't see how San Francisco is going to do it. I, I, mean, I don't. Will we have the money to, for the, to improve the infrastructure? I, I, I can't see it. Does it look like this might like overflow into the city at some point? Yeah. What do you think would happen if that happened? Everyone would be out of breath. The scientific community isn't holding its breath. It's demanding urgent action, while admitting that for cities this close to the sea, the damage may have already been done. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. They will feel the effects inland as well. A rising ocean will increase pressure on upstream sources, and that could possibly affect agriculture and foul drinking water supplies with seawater.